All right, people, let's get it. Welcome to Chachki's PSA uh, box break, where I'm going to show you all the, um, the stuff that I'm getting back from PSA. I'm real excited. Unfortunately, I kind of already uh, seen it. Like, I went online. I couldn't wait. I had to see it. Like, I'm, like, but this will be the first time you guys get to see it. So this is my first video as well. So bear with me. It's not going to be all that smooth. But um, just to let you know a little bit about myself is I'm an avid sports collector and uh, a seller on eBay. My seller account is uh, Chachki. Um, that's C-H-A-C-H-K-I-E. Um, I love talking sports. If you guys want to leave any comments, negative, positive, whatever, just I, I, I'd like to get some feedback just so I know what I can improve on and uh, maybe uh, what you guys would like to see going forward. But this is the this is what they they send it in. I believe it's a 50 card plus order. Let's get into it. One of these days, maybe I'll actually surprise myself and not um, cheat and check to see what my grades were already. But it's difficult, man, because the wait is so long. The worst part about the whole grading process, besides when you send something out to get graded and it doesn't come back the grade that you want it to, is the wait. Like, the 65 days. Usually that's what I do. I do the bulk order. I'm a platinum member of PSA. And... Um, so this is kind of what it looks like here. I got three of these. So boom. Now let's take a look. We go with so it's 51 cards. Uh, I literally sent this out a little bit over two months ago. Uh, it felt like a year ago. So you almost kind of forget like what you send and every now and then I would just go back to the site and just check to see uh, all right so but well okay so, so to start things off it starts real shitty <laughs> like I'm a big uh, 86 flair guy because uh, basketball because the whole Michael Jordan you know Dominique Wilkins Akeem Olajuwon Joe Dumars Isaiah Thomas Carl Malone uh, all rookies uh, basketball was cut off from the card in industry from a, a long stretch about five five years um, there were card companies like star that did some um, uh, producing of basketball cards but those uh, as far as I know don't even get graded by PSA they do get graded by Beckett though I did send in some Jordans in the past to get graded from Beckett and I like Beckett as well I just um, I prefer PSA. Um, I just think it's got the, the classic look. Beckett's way more modern, which is fine. But um, so let's get into it. So like going back to the 86 flare, you know, this <laughs> was a little bit of a disappointment to be honest. I knew it wasn't gonna grade that well, but um, Isaiah Thomas, let's see if I can get out of this glare. Okay. Oh, that's good. So Isaiah Thomas, PSA five, terrible, absolutely garbage. But you gotta hit some and you gotta lose some. That's the game you play. On average, it cost me about nine dollars to get each card graded uh, with the bulk with the bulk order, um, something like that. I'll be lucky if I even get my nine dollars back if if I choose to sell it. Um, now I'm a Celtics fan, so this was kind of a, a keeper for myself. It's a Bill Walton. That came out a seven, not too bad. And like I said, you hit some, you miss some. Hey, that's the game we play, right? And this was a hit. This is a decent hit right here. This is not a bad card at all. It's an Ichiro Pujols. Uh, see if we can see that. Booyaka! PSA 10, Gem Mint. It's like a $200 to $300 card all day. Anyone interested? Seller named Chachki. 
hit me up. And if you, um, if you actually are somebody that watched my YouTube video and you message me on eBay, I'll maybe even work out something where I give you a little bit of a discount. I don't know. I'm trying to work out some promotional things here. I want, I want to, I love cards. So I want to make this a, this is my passion. So I want to make this a career. If you can help me out, I can help you out, get some cards in your hands that for a better price than anybody. This is a pretty good card. I don't know, this guy's pretty good. Mike Trout. PSA 10. Uh, just a just a cool looking card. Love the love the photo on this. I mean, that is just badass. <sighs> and um, I'm a tops guy. I like I prefer tops over everything else. So with that being said, it kind of sucks that they stopped making football because I was a huge tops chrome guy. And I'm also a huge Patriots fan, and you know, uh, I'm from Massachusetts, uh, Springfield to be exact, so I'm a hometown, root, root, root for the home team type of guy. But this is uh, arguably the best quarterback of all time. Unfortunately, I only got a PSA 9. Um, this will be like a personal collection. I probably will sell anything that ain't 10 though, so this... This might get sold because I, I can't I can't do those nines. There's another one here, Mr. Tom Brady. Took over for my boy Drew Bledsoe. I remember that like it was yesterday. That was the bet. That's my favorite Patriot season is um, their first Super Bowl. Drew Bledsoe goes out, getting hit by Mo Lewis. People forget, but that was after 9/11. Like Joe and Drewsy comes out with the flags running on. And then later in that day, not that's comparable at all, but Drew Bledsoe gets hurt. And that guy, Tom Brady, comes in, takes over the takes over the reins and never releases him. Almost though, uh AFC championship game, Drew Bledsoe did come in, throws a nice touchdown pass to David Patton, you know, wins the AFC championship game for us. So hey, Drew Drew Bledsoe was a good quarterback, but Tom Brady is a great quarterback. And again, Going back to this guy. This guy's pretty good. I don't know. Arguably the best of uh, best of 2000s, I would say, definitely. He's still got a couple years of production to go before I, I would put him up there with um, Barry Bonds. And people would argue, well, Barry Bonds is a cheater. And yes, he is. But nonetheless, he's still... Statistics, numbers, just add up and speaking of um san francisco this guy's been a pretty consistent guy and he's very collectible like people uh like like this guy it's a buster posey tops these are sharp looking cards the 87 borders like trash year but i tell you what all that 80s stuff is starting to pick up some momentum believe it or not even that late 80s overproduced garbage especially the tiffany stuff i mean if you look at some of those uh sold listings on tiffany you'd be surprised and i think i actually have some in here now this is actual pc like this is what i collect uh my birth year which is 1978 tops wish i would have got a little bit higher than eight i'm trying to shoot for nines or tens um pete rose now this guy put him in the goddamn hall of fame Put him in the goddamn Hall of Fame. He's got more hits than anybody. This is ridiculous. Like, seriously. Put this guy in the Hall of Fame. Who cares? He bet on sports that's about to be legal all across the country. Put his ass in the Hall of Fame. Now. Like, right now. No bullshit. Now, this was a pleasant surprise. I wish I... Uh, I would love to know why I missed a 10 on this, but even getting a 9 on Hall of Famer... Andre Dawson for the now disposed Expos. Like that is a cool card. A nine, but that's not bad for a seventy-eight. Like I was, I was pretty stoked about that. This is an up-and-coming player. Um, I guess I got caught up in the hype of fantasy baseball, and this guy was um, going pretty high in most drafts. But um, Trey Turner. It's a variant. Cool card. Nothing crazy. 
Like, I like to get stuff graded that hopefully no one else got graded. This possibly is like a population one. Sometimes things ain't graded because nobody wants it. But I'm sure there's a Nationals fan out there that enjoys um, Trey Turner and collects them. And this is, uh, again, another Trey Turner. This came out a nine. This is a mini version, a little bit harder to pull. Uh, it's actually number two. Uh, if you can see that, it's number two a hundred on the back here. I believe that's eighty-eight of one hundred. Now, I'm definitely a Mookie Betts guy because Mookie Betts is nasty. What a nasty ball player they got in Mookie! Unbelievable. That's a variant, but unfortunately, I got a nine. So, I'm not a big nine guy. If you are, that's great. I'll buy my stuff, because it's for sale. And how am I getting nines and eights on new stuff? I don't know. I think it's just the luck of the draw sometimes. I think PSA cannot flood the market. Well, this guy is probably one of the best shortstops in the league, Francisco Lindor. And, um... You know, the sky's the limit for this guy. Oh, awesome team, awesome player, just solid all the way around. Look who it is. I kind of like this guy. I don't know why. But it's a Mike Trout. And I hit a 10 on that, baby. Hell yeah. Give me 10s all day. Especially on Mike Trout's. I might just put together a Mike Trout PSA 10 a lot. Because guess what? I got another one. Ba-boom. Another 10. And I don't know what's going to happen with this guy since they acquired Manny Machado. Maybe Machado moves over to third. I don't know what they do with Justin Turner. But this guy is pretty good. Seeger. He just got hurt. This is a sick card, though. Beautiful card. Real nice. I love getting the um, team colors, like uh, variations. About PSA 10 on that one. Yeah, what up? I just love like I don't know you can't I don't it doesn't really do it justice but wow and you're not gonna see much autographs here I'm not a big autograph guy they're a little bit out of a little bit out of my league as far as price goes I'll talk about stud shortstops how about this guy oh yeah and yes that's another ten you yep. What a freaking beautiful, that's a beautiful card too. Unbelievable. Just, oh man. I just love shiny things, I don't know. <laughs> I, I like basic tops, plat, you know, basic tops, but if I can get like a chromed out one, I prefer that all day. That's why I was a little sad to see no more tops chrome football. They need to bring that back. You might have heard of this guy, this guy's, this guy's had a had a pr had a pretty good career, and if you look at his numbers, matched up with guys of his era, there's no comparisons. Like this guy's got a like statistically is the best of all time. Babe Ruth, PSA ten. Another Babe Ruth. PSA 10. All right, that's box number one. That's just one box. That's pretty good. There's a lot of 10s in there. A lot of modern stuff, though. Like, if, if you don't hit 10s on some of that modern stuff, it's basically not even worth getting, worth getting a graded. Like, you're not going to make you know, $9 back. Seriously. So, some of that stuff is just complete a waste of money. But we'll see. I'm sure there's a buyer out there somewhere that might not think so. Boom. Let's see what we got. Let's see what goodies. Uh -oh, this one's going to give me a little difficulty. Well, the worst thing that would happen is if I drop this and just smashed all over the place. right on top too not really I don't like how they put this one right on top because this is one of the more valuable cards in this order that I got you guys ready 
this stuff got pretty pretty hot boom living set what joe panic what psa 10 at this time i don't know how many of there are populations but i know this is like a 400 hundred dollar card Booyaka. and literally pays for almost everything like literally pays for almost all of this like this guy right this card right here of this average baseball player but low print well i think Three or four thousand print run on this pays for this whole entire order almost. There's some other stuff in here though. Let me put this baby somewhere nice and safe. Well, back to this guy. You either love him or you hate him, Mr. Tom Brady. So I sent a bunch of my Brady stuff in and they gave me back a bunch of nines. I'd almost rather have a bunch of tens on the Brady's than that panic, seriously. But that's just me. That's my personal thing. So, oh, another. Brady. Goddamn nine. Brady refractor. Nine. Brady. Finally, a goddamn ten. Woohoo. I'll keep this one. Nothing special. Just a base chrome. Shiny. Patriots keeper this is something i'm gonna keep and i was hoping to get a 10 on this because i don't know how you don't because this the way these cards are produced they're almost guaranteed they should be guaranteed 10s but as i'm saying that actually i don't know if that's part of the plastic yeah there might actually be a, something i missed and i did actually look over these cards pretty well not well enough but wow what a player this guy was fun to watch ran his mouth and that's okay because this guy pff, backed up what he talked mr randy number 81 moss yeah what a hell of a player oh my god what a difference maker uh, and this one i just sent for shits and giggles he signed with the patriots near the end of last season this is actually a rookie of his but it comes back in eight basically worthless sort of i mean i want to say worthless i would say not worth a grade <laughs> same with this mr rocky balboa hmm. nine actually sent out some more of uh this stuff because i was a i liked rocky as a kid watching it as an adult not so much uh but as a kid, I liked it, so I got a bunch of uh, Rocky stuff graded, like from the Alan Genter. And I would almost think it's almost cheating when you use do an Alan Genter card, because the product is so good, like the quality of the cardboard is so good that very rare are there any like factory defects. Like you almost have to like mess it up on purpose. <laughs> But this, I guess, maybe, maybe they could say it's off-centered, I guess. I mean, really. They just, uh, corners, maybe. But I don't even think so. Let's talk about greats. Oh, this guy. This guy defined greatness. And I just recently started, actually, in the Jordan-LeBron debate. I started to lean towards LeBron. I know. It's crazy. But LeBron is a better all-around player. I know it hurts. My heart is breaking saying it because I'm a Jordan guy. But the numbers don't lie. LeBron does everything. He does everything well. So it is what it is, right? It's tough. I don't know. But I would say this. Jordan is the best shooting guard of all time. LeBron James is the best small forward of all time. But you can even this is this is another thing is LeBron is more dimensional. You can put him at the four, the three, the two, and even the one. Jordan, you can put him at the two. You no. Know, six five has limitations. You got LeBron, 6'8, 260 pounds. He's like Carl Malone, but more athletic. Uh, it's so tough. 
And these, this is an investment right here. I'm thinking that someone like this guy, Jabril Peppers, playing with the Browns. I'm think I'm I'm on board with thinking the Browns are on the come up. So we'll see. Again, this is you know whatever nine dollar. It's like a scratch ticket. I spent two dollars on the card. Nine dollars get it graded. We'll put it up for like twenty five bucks. Best offer. If I get 20 bucks for it, I'm happy. But I think this will make somebody real happy. I love the orange border. It's an orange variation. It's numbered to 275. Wish it was like a jersey number or something. 77 of 275. Just a sharp looking card. It's real sharp. Same thing with this next one here. This is another investment. I'm thinking that this guy's going to take over for Lamar Miller. Foreman. Again. Nice red border, go with kind of accents the jersey a little bit. Just then even goes with the PSA label here, and that's a, a ten. The peppers was also a ten. I'm sorry. And you got Pete Rose, then you got this guy Ichiro. With if you combine his hits overseas and his hits here, I don't know if he beats Rose or if he's right up there with him, but it's close. And Ichiro is one of my favorite baseball players. The guy just just was a hell of a hitter unbelievable and could could play the field pretty good too i uh, might have it in here but i have a cool card uh, tops now of him making a game one uh you know saving a home run so that's pretty cool the dreaded yankees but torres nice prospect they got came up did pretty well this year psa 10 i gotta fly through this stuff a little bit here i don't know amount of time that they allow but all right here's some red sox stuff yeah psa 10 this is a camo variation uh numbered to 25 16 of 25 getting a red sox team card i wish i wasn't getting Oh, I'm a master of this, though, guys. I know right now I'm, I'm an amateur. Oh, this actually I got I got graded for one of my um, buddies. Mike's gonna love this card. Nice. Chris Bryant. Not really putting up crazy numbers this year, but still pretty good. Number to seventy-five, I believe. Yep, number seventy-five, ten to seventy-five. Here was me trying to do some things with some vintage sent this in huh. I mean in reality like a, an eight is not bad it really isn't Hall of Fame uh, purple purple was that purple people eater um, you know getting an eight on the on a car on one of these cars is actually not that bad I mean this thing is like perfectly centered looks crisp but they have stuff to compare it to I'm sure it must just not make it you know but again yeah, eight not too, too terrible. 69 tops, Tucker Fredrickson. I just sent this in because I thought it was a sharp looking card. Looked like it would make a higher grade than a five. But nonetheless, whatever. Pay, old Patriot guy, John Morris. Got an eight on it. Might actually keep this. Then some modern stuff here. Larry Fitzgerald. Sharp looking card, PSA 10, uh, number to 299. Just a good looking card. Again, Detroit Lions, Calvin Johnson. Arguably, arguably, um, I mean, physical physical traits, probably the best wide receiver. Numbers, not Jerry Rice all day. All right, you guys ready? One more box. One more box and this can all end. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, this one's a little bit lower and it's got a couple of cards that they didn't grade for me. So, and it's got like my receipt thing. There's a, there's what happens when they don't believe that you're, or actually I asked to, for certain grades and certain cards, one of them being uh, this guy here, which would which would have been nice to get a 
I should have at least got it. I should have. I put nines. I didn't get it. Here's a judge. Can I probably should have just let them grade them, even if they came back eights. But I put minimum grade nine, and that's the game you play sometimes. All right. So here's a here's a nice card. Mookie Betts, gold, ten, numbered to. 2014 369 out of 2014 not bad card this was a banger right here Jason Tatum prism silver just a sharp looking card and worth a little bit of money this guy again Brady Nine. Bullshit. <laughs> Brady. Guess what? Oh, yeah. A nine. Yeah. Well, at least I got a, a ten on a Brady. Yay! The crowd goes crazy. You actually got a ten on a Brady. And what a... You know, this is a dollar card, but I just love it. I'm actually going to try getting all this year's pro sets all graded. I know. Whatever. That, so this is going to be a personal collection. Just some cheap crap, but whatever. Try getting tens on some of this stuff. Open up some of those packs. You know, those things are beat. You can like, you open up a case, open up a box, open up a pack, and watch how many just beat up cards. Like these things are like harder than you would believe to to find in in gem and condition, and I think when the hobby starts realizing that, they're gonna look back at it and be like, oh, hmm. And I think the value is gonna go up on these, believe it or not. Then again, I could be completely wrong. We'll see. Allen Iverson, just a cool looking card. Ten. Should probably be showing the backs too. I don't know. Wasn't even thinking. Sorry. But if you guys are interested, this will be the last card. A Jalen Brown Ruby Prism. What a sharp looking card that is, too. PSA 10. Not numbered or anything, but tough pull. So, like I said, my eBay seller name is Chachki. That's C H A C H K I E. Hit me up. Let me know you watched my video. Um, and we'll see. Maybe we can work something out. I'm trying to make money off of something that I'm passionate about. I'm a sports fan. Um, I love talking sports. I, I'm very opinionated. And that doesn't mean I'm always right. But um, thank you for watching my video. Uh, leave some comments. God bless.